This is Code.org, CS Discoveries, Computer Science Discoveries, uh, Unit 2, which is Web Development. We're on Lesson 6, which is all about HTML lists, and we're on 6, which is called Lists in HTML. This is going to go over some of the stuff we've been learning throughout this lesson. So, lists. HTML has two types of lists, ordered and unordered. Ordered lists. An, un, an ordered list is a set of numbered items. An ordered list element has the tag OL. This is an abbreviation for ordered list. Each item in the list is marked by a list item element, or LI. Wow, they're making this sound confusing. This is an abbreviation for list item. The list item element is a child element, which means it goes inside the parent element of the ordered list. All right. I'm going to pause them there. So the parent element is the thing that wraps around everything. So notice if you want a list of whatever this is, step one, two, or three, what's going to go around the entire list is your OL and then your closing OL tags. So your ordered list or your numbered list OL tag and then your closing one. And then each item on that list needs to be wrapped in LI and then a closing LI tag. LI stands for list item. What this is saying right now is that OL is considered the parent tag because it's going around all of this. And then the child tag is the ones that are going within the OL tags. So they're indented, notice, showing you that they're in between the opening and closing OL tags. It's a bit confusing. You might not master it right off the bat, but that's what it's trying to tell you. Making an ordered list has two steps, making the list and adding the list items. To make the ordered list, write the ordered list tags OL and slash UL slash OL. Next, add your list items inside the ordered list tags, like they do here, right? They're adding inside these tags, but within there, you need LI, 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 yep. It can be helpful to indent to your LI tags so it's clear they are contained within the OL tag. And if you're using WebLab or on code.org, it will auto indent and it will do that in a lot of different programs you might be using to write sites. Once you do an opening OL and a closing OL, the stuff you put inside that you have a tag on will be auto indented to show you where it goes. Unordered list. An unordered list is a set of bulleted items. An unordered list has the tag UL. This is an abbreviation for unordered list. Each item in the list is marked by a list, by an item element, LI. This is an abbreviation for list item. The list item is a child element, which means that it goes inside the parent element, the unordered list. Wait a minute, this sounds almost exactly like this. And it does because it is exactly like it. The only real difference in list is actually just the UL and the OL, right? Ordered list, unordered list, or just the bullet points that they make or the numbers that they make. So watch. Making an unordered list has two steps. Making an ordered list has two steps. So these are going to be almost the same because the elements are almost the same. Making the list and adding the list items. To make the unordered list, write the unordered list tags UL slash UL. Next, add your list items inside the unordered list tags. To make each list item, use the list item tags li slash li and write the list item inside the tags. It can be helpful to indent your li tags so it's clear that they are contained in the ul tag. And again, it will auto indent in weblab or on code.org and it will in most systems that you write a website in. W3 is the most, well, the most credible. It's a really useful site for understanding HTML. They'll give you live examples, um, show you what the stuff can do, and just gives you more info. So if you are curious, you could click on any of those links. It will take you to W3. It's a great site for learning a bit more. And we are going to go ahead now and move onward.